Hi everybody, this is Joy at Red Pine Quilt Shop. Today we're going to talk about how to cut correctly um, using your acrylic rulers and specifically to talk about not cutting using the markings on your mat. So let's start by talking about what I mean when I say cutting with your ruler um, versus cutting with your mat. Now, if you have a piece of fabric and you lay it down on your mat, and I've got a square side, I think, over here, and you line it up with the zero line on your mat, and then you take your ruler and say you wanted a four inch strip, and you line it up with the four marking on your mat and cut, you're cutting using the lines on your mat. You're not using the lines on your ruler, you're looking at the markings on your mat when you cut. And that is the thing that you do not want to do. You want to always cut with the markings on your ruler, not using those markings on your mat. So you as a person making quilts, um, not a shop like us, you should never ever wear out a mat or not wear a mat out for a very long time because you should never be looking at these markings on your mat when you cut. You should always be using the markings on your ruler and cutting with those. So your fabric really can get laid down any place on your mat. If you have a double-sided mat, I recommend you flip them over because you don't really need to use those lines. And it's actually sometimes nice to not have the distraction of them. So you might wanna try, especially if you're a newer quilter, just flipping it over. Make sure you have a double-sided mat that you can cut on either side of. Some you can cut on both sides, some you can't. Um, but if you do, try flipping it over. Now, the reason that I say that is the fact that the markings that are printed on a mat like this, for starters, are not printed as accurately as the markings that are printed on an acrylic ruler like this one. Now, an acrylic ruler like this has a very, very tightly controlled, highly quality control controlled function for printing this very, very, very precisely. The lines are also very thin, so you can get it lined up perfectly with the edge of your fabric, and it will give you very accurate cuts when you're cutting using these lines on your ruler. Your mat, on the other hand, though, does not have um, that tightly a quality controlled process. The lines are also generally not as thin. This mat, for example, has a thicker line at all the five inch increments. So the five and the 10 and the 15 are all thicker. So if you look at the thickness of that line versus the, the line that's actually on my acrylic ruler, you'll see that I can't even begin to cover that up. It shows you how much thicker that line is. Even the lines that are not a 510 or a 15 on this mat are thicker than the lines on my ruler. The other thing to keep in mind with mats like this is the fact that the material that mats are made out of is not nearly as hard and rigid and stable as an acrylic ruler. And mats will contract and expand with heat and cold. Um, just seasonal changes during the year, they're gonna expand and contract a little bit with heat and cold. So they are not nearly as accurate a way to cut. So mats are really designed to be cut on, not with. So keep that in mind, your cutting will be more accurate if you are just cutting on your mat and you're cutting with your ruler. So to cut with your ruler, what you want to do to cut with your ruler is just drop your fabric down anywhere on your mat. It doesn't matter where you put it. Um, it doesn't have to be lined up with anything. Just drop it on your mat. And if you wanted to cut a four inch strip, you should line up that four inch line on your ruler with the edge of your piece of fabric. Now you want to make sure you square your fabric up first. The piece of fabric I have came out of our scrap bin here at the shop and it needs to be squared up before I even make my first cut. But line up with your four and then take your rotary cutter and cut. But you're measuring using the ruler. It doesn't matter where your fabric is laying on your mat because you're using the ruler to cut. The mat is simply a surface underneath um, that will protect 
your rotary blade and keep you from cutting into your into your, your counter surface um, and it'll keep your rotary blade um, sharp and protected. So that's my um, very short video for today, um, but always remember you're going to cut with your ruler on your mat um, and not be using your mat to cut. Now, I am gonna give you two exceptions before we wrap up here. There are two times when you can actually use those markings on your mat, but they are not for fabric that's going into quilt blocks. They are for big things. And that is the only time that you really can use your mat. So say you're doing a tote bag and you need to cut an 18 by 20 inch piece that's gonna be the side panel on a tote bag. That is a big piece of fabric. It's going into a sewing project, not a quilting project. And for that, that is one of the times that you can go ahead and use your mat. For a big chunk of fabric like that, something that's not getting pieced into quilt blocks, um, that is one time when you can go ahead and use the lines on your mat and it's not gonna come back and haunt you. Um, the other time you can do it is if you're cutting border fabrics. I have a big mat like the one I have below me here on my cutting counter at home. If I need to cut a 60 inch border, I would take my fabric and after I cut my strips, I would line it up with the zero, line the fold up with the zero on my mat and I would have big long strips pieced and I would I would come down and cut on the 30 and I would use a line on my mat for that. But keep in mind, it's a folded piece of fabric. I'm cutting a 60 inch border. Now, if I'm off by an eighth of an inch on a 60 inch border, that is not gonna, that is not gonna be an issue. But you don't wanna be off an eighth of an inch on a one and a half inch strip. So for big pieces, things that are going into sewing projects or big long borders. Um, that's really kind of my only exception for when I will use those lines printed on the mat to cut. And that's simply because you, we normally don't have rulers big enough to cut things like that. And the lines on your mat are still a safer way to cut than taking a tape measure out for like those long border strips that we sometimes need. So those are the two exceptions. Otherwise, always cut with your ruler on your mat and if you have the option to flip it over and cut on the side that doesn't have all the markings um, give that a try and i think you might find that it works well for you so thanks for joining us today